Even if you've made a simple table and you've avoided merging and splitting cells and you've filled it with appropriate tabular data, there are a few things that you need to do if you've created that table in Microsoft Word to make the table accessible. If you place the cursor inside the table, you'll see Table Tools as an option in the ribbon. And under Design, there's a checkbox for header row and first column. In this particular table, there is a header row and there is a first column, so we'll leave those boxes checked. Under the Layout tab, you need to make sure that the cursor is placed in the top row and you select Repeat Header Rows. What this does is this ensures that if the table spills over onto another page, the header rows are repeated. The last thing that you need to do is put a bookmark inside the table. Some screen readers are unable to read the headers appropriately without that bookmark. First I'm going to show you what it's like to use a screen reader without the bookmark in place. JAWS Professional Table Bookmark Dash Word Print View Edit Poet Table Table 1 Dash Poets and Their Poems Row 1 of 5 Whitman Row 2 of 5 Longfellow Row 3 of 5 The Light of Stars Column 2 of 5 1838 Column 3 of 5 1783 Dash 1784 Row 4 of 5 You can hear that without a bookmark, the screen reader is still unable to read all of the headers in the table. Now I'll show you how to add a bookmark to the table. First place the cursor at the beginning of the first cell in the table, then go up and choose insert in the ribbon, select bookmark, and give that bookmark a name. Now in this particular table, because there is a header row and a first column, we have to use the bookmark name title. 